For those of you who remember the popular movie, The Goonies, you'll probably remember that famous scene in which all of the Goonies are debating whether they should go on for their search of One-Eyed Willie's treasure or give up. And in those final moments, when nearly all hope is lost, one of the Goonies steps forward, takes a deep breath, and says perhaps the most famous lines of the entire movie. It's our time now. Ladies and gentlemen, it truly is our time now. It is time to let our voices be heard. What is voice? Voice is who you are, what you follow, what you believe in. Voice is your passion, what makes you special, what separates you from the millions of other teenagers in the world. So we implore you, fellow youths, use your voice for good. Rather than hiding your voice, use your voice to serve society and fight a heart-wrenching tragedy that has seeped into the skin of America. Now, what is this tragedy we speak of? Homelessness. In the United States alone, there are more than one million homeless people today. In the next two years, due to the recession, that number is expected to rise up to 1.5 million. Perhaps most tragic of all is the fact that one out of every 50 homeless people is a mere child, younger than you or me. So you may be thinking to yourself, that's sad. That's very tragic, but what can I do? I'm just a mere kid. I'm just, uh, I'm just an insignificant little un. How can my voice make an impact? Can't I just wait for a responsible adult to clean this mess up? <laughs> no, friends, you may not. Friends, voice your outrage at such an atrocity. Collectively, we can be an unstoppable force. By using our unique voices, we can hit homelessness in the cojones where it truly hurts. So let us give you a story as an example. So Harry and I arrived at the Lighthouse, a local women and children sh shelter, to discover that we only had two students to teach for Taekwondo. Uh, let's call this little boy Josh and his little brother. Now, on our very first day, we had no idea what to do, so we decided to go with the flow and start off with a little small talk to learn more about him as a student. After a few moments went by, we discovered something really peculiar. This little boy lacked a voice. He could not speak for himself. How peculiar, we thought. But we decided to let it go, considering it was only our first day at the lighthouse. And so days became weeks, weeks became months, and we began to understand Josh's story. Josh had moved to the lighthouse with his little brother and his mom to, for his mom to enroll at the lighthouse work recovery program. And he had been abandoned at a very early age by his father and had undergone a brain surgery that left him physically unable to speak. Josh is a very bright kid who enjoys learning and learning new things every day. But because he lacked a voice and couldn't speak for himself, he was cast aside as ignorant, unmotivated, and useless for society. In their eyes, he was both figuratively and literally voiceless. And let's pa fast forward a little bit to the present. So long after our first days at the Lighthouse, a lot has changed. We are now joined by other members of our group, Higher Hope Homeless Helpers, who come to share their voices and their passions for the community. What started out as a simple day of Taekwondo has now evolved into an entire academy of passions, ranging from art to more Taekwondo, uh, even music and rapping as well. And what have we learned from our lessons at the Lighthouse? Voices truly matter. Josh was unique in that he physically lacked a voice. However, there are so many people in our society that cannot say what they want to say, cannot share what they desire to share, and cannot express what they so yearn to express. And in helping the homeless lies a cornerstone of our generation. The ability to lend our powerful and limitless voice to those who cannot speak for themselves. So what else does our group do? Occasionally, we go to the soup kitchen. There, students with a voice for cooking, or even waiting, can make a significant impact on a person's life through a simple meal. We also do fundraising. In fact, last year, we raised about $500 just by selling Otter Pops and root beer floats. Through the act of selling things, we can help students voice their entrepreneurial skills while raising money for homeless shelters. Admittedly, we aren't currently saving lives or ridding world hunger, However, our mere presence shows our desire to make a change, 
Thus, through our work, our voices are heard. The sagacious Ben Parker, also known as Spider-Man's uncle, once said that with great power, there you go, comes great responsibility. You, nay, our generation as a whole has the power to change the world with our unique voices. Let's be responsible and use that power for good. In other words, let's use our passion to help others, be it using one's artistic prowess to teach impoverished kids music or simply using one's intelligence to educate the homeless population. Everyone has a unique role that they can use to help the community and even the world. We have a voice. Let us roar and be heard throughout the world. Ha!